Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on a video. Last time we were here all last week, we were building up the town of Walsenburg. Just the town outside of the downtown core. And I think it turned out, turned out pretty nicely. We've built up kind of the historic district of the downtown or of the, the town. Oh, here it is. And we'll be moving uh, into some more uh, suburban developments around this, uh, this town uh, in the future. Uh, so any comments about that town I haven't actually added in uh, from last week and we'll be looking at that uh, on Wednesday's episode and we'll be doing some other dives into uh, some other things around the city. So what's in store for today's episode? Well, there's been a couple of road projects that I've put off and uh, you know, I put them off so that we can make a whole dedicated video on the subject. We're going to do two road improvements. Uh oh. Ah, okay. It's just a train. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Um, there has been some backup lately at, in Brownsville, where that was. Uh, but uh, yeah, so two fixes I want to do on some layouts downtown. And then I want to dive into the East-West Provincial Highway, which has been uh, asked for in the comments for a little while. So I'm going to add that in and that's going to really spawn a lot of future development of uh, that part of the map. So I'm really excited to dive into today's episode. And let's hop out and look at what we did last week in Walsenburg because I made a few changes. Oh, here we are. Walsenburg, cute little town. Start off over here on the main street. And uh, yeah, you know, I think it turns out pretty nicely. We have a nice kind of detailed main street with some different road network connections. And um, come over here into more of a business district with the metro stop. My plan here is to have a much more uh, planned out suburban area in this in this kind of zone around the metro um saying as like this is the historic part of walsenburg and we're gonna have a bit more of a modern uh walsenburg expansion over here um i think i'm gonna change up the direction of the metro out of walsenburg but we'll see that in the future uh babcock point i've uh you know done some upgrades to to, to this i've added in some paths along the side here and i've just kind of detailed this up off camera we have a bit of an older historic house, I guess, <laughs> that people still like to visit. Maybe that was Mr. Babcock, the person who the park is named after. But yeah, there's some access points along the side here. Not all of them are, you know, gates, which I kind of like. And there's a bit more of a central zone over here with the birds and birds and bee ha bird and bee haven. There we go. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty nicely, and. Here is Walsenburg. Oh, and I've also detailed up the side of this area, which uh, may change if we change up the direction of the metro. So what is in store for today's episode? Well, we're going to hop on the metro. We're going to go into the downtown and we're going to switch metro somewhere in here and we're going to slide all the way over to the university. And, you know, the university turned out really nicely. I'm really pleased with it. But there's one point in, in the university kind of sphere that uh, there's, uh, there's a comment that, you know, it could, we could simplify this little road connection into kind of like a single point connection. And I think that's where we're going to start off in today's episode. And that is right here, right by the stadium. This one was put in quite a long time ago and uh, pretty much it works pretty nice. People coming from this direction can line up into here and then they can take a dedicated turning lane into this direction. And then people from over here can take the slip lane over people coming from this side can come over here and then they have their two directions but you know there's two kind of stopping points it's not exactly pedestrian friendly at all so why not why don't we just delete this and merge it into one node and uh, you know i completely agree and i believe it was jmwz in the comments that had that suggestion so we're going to start off today's episode with this so yep yeah, pretty much what we're going to do is just delete both of these points continue this into each other and then we'll connect it back up so, um, you know, I think we're going to actually stick with this road for the most part. So let's, ooh, although we go down to one lane through here, which I believe this is going to be a pretty big focal point of some issues, you know, planned issues when we develop up this part of the map. But, uh, yeah, you know what, let's grab this one and then we'll connect it into here. Turn on anarchy. Whoa, getting some uh, some lag here. I think I'm going to have to delete a node. So we'll delete this one. And we'll grab this. I'm going to hold Alt with Move It. 
just to slide it up right into the middle here. And now we can see if we can try and connect these two together. So let's grab this one and hopefully this works. I'm not underground because that would, you know, not be good. <laughs> and uh, do that. Nice. Looks like we're good. And then I believe we're using the two lane road with no parking for the other side, even though it doesn't really matter because I think we're using an elevated portion. We'll see if we can do it without being elevated. Nice. So uh, I think we're using elevated because there was some glitchiness. So let's upgrade that. Ooh, get out and move it. Upgrade. There we go. And then same thing here. We'll upgrade this to the elevated uh, portion. And then we'll go into node controller, grab this node, click the squaring of the node button, grab, move it again. And then we're just going to realign it a little bit better so that we can, oh, you know what? I don't think this is actually upgraded. Whoops. There we go. And we're just going to realign it so that we can kind of get a nice, clean kind of connection here. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should do like a bit of a slip lane over here instead of having this be like this now. And I kind of like that idea. So let's upgrade that. Oh, darn, should have been elevated. And then uh, we'll do the same thing right from here. We'll turn off bending so we get a nice kind of just straight connection here. We could go right into there, into the bridge portion. But let's try and just do this right here. And you know what? I think this sh should be uh, ground level. Kind of help ground the no uh, the interchange here or the intersection. Um, and then let's go back and to move it here. I'm just going to pull this towards the middle here because that what that's going to do is it's going to bend it so we have a nice we have a cleaner connection into here and I think this uh, you know kind of all works out uh, now we do have two lanes going into one lane from this side but I think that's gonna have to do because of uh, the issues with uh, kind of the bridge and um, everything at the moment but I can definitely see us coming back here and upgrading the bridge uh, in the future but I don't want to do that in today's episode uh, then I think we're going to need to have a slip lane from here now. So there we go. Pretty simple. And I believe we'll have to move some things around through here to try and get this to work the best it can. All right. So we're going to learn a lot about uh, the node controller in today's episode, I guess. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be really important for us. And one prime example is right here. This node is sloped. Oh, wow. Because it looks rather steep. So I wonder if we can just try and bring this one over a bit. Hopefully that eliminates some of the steepness of it. And then if we go back into node controller, grab this node. And this one is also sloped. Okay, wow. So looks like it's just, you know, rather steep. All right. So we're looking at this now. Uh, we can upgrade this piece to this. Flip it around. And hopefully that should do it. We're going to need to come back here with some node controller and move it and just kind of tweak some things. So we can bring this one closer now. Try and keep it as straight as I can with everything going on. And then we'll slide it back into node controller. Do this. We'll square the node up. And then I want this guy to line up with that one. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Square the node. And oh, they already kind of line up because it's the same road, of course. Uh, I think we're going to need to change this road so that there's no trees in there, uh, mainly because uh, those trees would probably be a little bit distracting. Um, okay, so you know, I think maybe we could. We've kind of recomplicated some things here, in a way, but I think it's going to work out in the end. I think we should probably try and. Uh, you know, get that extra slip lane on here again. So that is this one. So by kind of eliminating this in a way, what we've done is we've just kind of added some more complexity, but I think it's going to flow a lot nicer. Um, so, you know, in a way we took JMWZ's comment and we, we used it, but we've also kind of tweaked it for ourselves here. So let's pull this one back. There we go. All right, so you come off of this road 
and you can choose your direction and hopefully that eliminates any need for any traffic light in here now I, you know in real life I definitely see a traffic light on this node that we're kind of manipulating but I think in the end it should work out pretty well and then right here we're good oops come on put a yield there and we should have yields already over on this one we don't okay well there we go all right fantastic so let's go into here now and we're going to eliminate the crosswalks through this junction and then same thing with this one and I would honestly prefer it if people didn't use the crosswalks uh, here so let's do this and we'll take out these crosswalks but I suppose this is probably the best spot instead of on the ends here Okay, we'll say, uh, you know, cars go through. Let's take off these ones. Cars go through. And cars go through. All right, so we're going to dive back into no controller now that we've kind of worked some things out. We're going to move this crosswalk back towards the middle here. Ooh, looks like I didn't actually remove a crosswalk. So here we go. There we go. Ta da! All right, and then back into no controller, slide this one over so that it's equal here for people walking across. And we'll slide this one over the best we can. That's fine. Okay, and then we're gonna hop back into here and we'll just have to re-level out this intersection. All right, so I, I think this is probably the best bet for um, the pedestrian crossing so I think what we'll have to do then is probably turn a light on here for uh, some realism um, but that is okay and then now we'll go into here and pretty much what I want to do is just make sure that we know that these left hand turn cars can only go in that direction and then that is all good yep and then this is all good yes and then we merge there we split here And there we go. Okay, so hopefully that all flows pretty well. Looks like we're all good on this node too, right? Yeah, we have the dedicated turning lane. We don't technically need to do this, uh, this stuff, but just for the sake of things, we'll do that. And these two go into here. And this one goes right there. Yeah, all right. So I'm glad that this one is a light. So, you know, we did take the suggestion and we put this into one node here, but you know, noticing that the curves, what, uh, about the curves and everything like that, uh, having these slip lanes will help the flow of traffic through this middle node anyways. So hopefully that all works out in the end. Let me know what you think. And that is fix or modification number one. And you know, I'm pretty pleased with how it, uh, it turned out. But let's go to modification two, and we're gonna take this road, which is a bit off-centered now. I wonder if we can bring it back towards the middle a little bit more. That's a little bit better. I think maybe we just adjust this one a little bit. All right, so we'll, we'll take this road, which is uh, Graham Avenue. And Graham is gonna come all the way over to here. And then I believe we can take this road. We're gonna hop over onto this side. And then we're just going to jump down onto the highway. <laughs> and we're gonna come right to here where we're dealing with a bit of a fun situation. So this is kind of the exit for, for our uh, highway which flows from our regional highway into the downtown core. And uh, yeah, so you know, it flows pretty well. You stay in the left lane if you wanna go into the downtown. You stay in the right lane. It looks like cars are hopping through here, so I think we'll have to do a bit of this and a bit of that, just to make sure we all know what's going on. Uh, and then you stay on the right side if you wanna take the right-hand turn into the wider world of Fort Prairie, uh, but what this has kind of done is it's created a ground level crossing right here, which forces cars to stop. They can't make a right because they should have made the right over here. They can't make a left because it's a one way, so they can only go straight, which is why we only really need one lane there. 
But, you know, we're coming from this direction. We already have the access to the highway, so there's no right-hand turn. There's only straight and left. We're coming from this way, and you have the left-hand turn available, which is nice. And you have the straight, straight on, which is nice. Uh, but you need to kind of stop and wait for traffic when, you know, what we, what we really could do if you wanted to turn left from this side is, you know, just take Alberta Boulevard down over here and then access the area that way. Or you can hop onto Layton Street and take kind of the roundabout, the square about, or in the mall here uh, over. So it's not the biggest detour in the world if we were to eliminate that. So what, my, what uh, the thinking is, what if we eliminate this intersection and we make this one connection, one smooth connection across here from Layton Street all the way onto here. So this is Murato Boulevard that we're building. And why Murato? Well, that is the map that the Skyline 6 is building on and for our vanilla multiplayer collaboration series. So don't miss those episodes on Sundays at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to basically lift up this side and this side, create a bit of a bridge. We're gonna sink this side down and this side so it goes under and we'll see how the traffic flows from there because this, this does handle a lot of traffic and it handles it pretty good. So we'll see if this is uh, worth doing. So first of all, I'm gonna delete this walkway. We'll come back to it uh, should we need to, but uh, then I'm going to delete this and we're gonna delete this. Then I'm gonna take this and we're gonna sink it down into the ground. So that's just with move it here. And that's pretty steep. I think I can lift it up a bit more. All right. And then we'll just stick with this side of, uh, of things for now. And what we'll do is we'll just slope this to here. That's pretty, uh, 3.6 is pretty good. But I think um, if we hop into node controller here and we slope this node, I think it's gonna be a little bit better, but looks like things are a bit funky from this side now. So let's see if we can fix that with a little bit of action here. No, so I think we'll need to, uh, need to do node controller on this one and we'll slope this node as well. Hmm. All right, well, you know, maybe we shouldn't have sloped this node, but I think that was the right move. Maybe what we need is to lower these two a little bit, just to eliminate some of the funkiness. Yeah, I think this is gonna be fine. I think the buildings are all okay in this regard anyways. And then we'll just lower this one a bit more than was needed before. All right, that works. And then how are things looking from over here? You know what, they're looking pretty good. I don't think we really need to touch this uh, at all. Uh, okay, fantastic. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this kind of just merge into this larger road here. Now I wanna keep this uh, available for us, mainly uh, the six lanes. So we're gonna, well, we might not need to anymore. So pretty much what we really need is to filter everyone down into one lane here. We could expand uh, this side and the side into a four lane highway. And then we have kind of a bit of a more even split. So this is gonna be a bit of a larger project than I guess I was anticipating, but that's okay. So let's grab this and We'll just basically just connect this up, elevated right to here, and we'll see how this looks. Yeah, so we're still a bit too low or high, depending on your perspective. And then we'll just raise this up on this side. And I don't want to eliminate this arch, and I want to make sure that we keep this level crossing here. So I don't mind making this a bridge, though, either. So can upgrade this, or sorry, an elevated portion. Although, hmm, it does look a little bit nicer if we were to kind of move this node, perhaps say to, whoa, move this node across, and then we grab this one, we move this one over to here, and then we put that back down to, um, to ground level. Yeah, I think that's probably a little bit better. 
And here we go. So we're sinking a little bit. Let's try and grab that node and we'll just lower it a little bit more so we can get a nice truck underneath there should we need. And we might need to do the same thing over on this side. Yeah, I think it's a. I think I need to work on this curve a little bit more, but I think we can do that off camera, perhaps. Maybe we just really need. To, maybe we just really need to just pull this back a little bit. All right. So now we have three lanes uh, going into one. So maybe what we really need is just an asymmetrical road, and I think we have that available for us, uh, which is right here. There we go. That's actually four lanes out, which is nice, but we really only need three. So where is this one? Three, no, that's still four. Okay, did I miss it? Ah, it's right here. All right, that's a little bit better. And having two lanes is also a lot nicer to deal with. So I think I'm okay with this. So let's go back to here. We'll grab this. There we go. Dedicated turning lanes all around. We have two going straight, one going left. And over here, we just need to work on this node. So I think we can grab this then. Turn off that crosswalk, don't worry. And then we're gonna need to change up this road. So this is a one lane or a, a two lane road total. So uh, pretty much what we can do is either try to merge it or we can keep this going three into, sorry, one into three, which I think is fine for our needs right now. But I think we're gonna need to change up this section right here into a four lane highway and this into an asymmetrical two plus one. So uh, let's do that. I think we can probably use the highway tools from this point on. And we'll just use this one. Upgrade. Or is this one? Are these both one lanes? It looks to be like they're just single lane connections. So I think maybe then I can just use the two lane highway here from this point. So let's click that in. There we go. And I'm just going to need to do this. And we're going to delete this. There we go. Let's hop back into Node Controller. And Node Controller is definitely a favorite mod of mine. It is extremely useful for dealing with these situations, as you can tell. And then I think this node is actually the one that might be causing the larger problem here. Let's see if we can try and move some things around. Yeah, so we have to upgrade this one into four lanes now. So we'll grab this four lane highway and I'm going to turn collision off momentarily. I'm just going to click that in right there. And then we're going to need to do a bit of move maneuvering with move it. Give ourselves a bit more space on both these nodes over here. And then we're going, going to lose one lane as we go down into two. And then, holy cow, I think we're going to need to do a little bit more work than it was than was uh, expected here. So we go back to four over on this side. So we go from four, based on the lane math here. Maybe we go from two into one, and then back into three. I think that's probably the best. It's a lot of merging, but uh, we'll see how much traffic actually kind of backs up. And um, yeah, because otherwise we're going to need to go into three and then into two, which I guess isn't the worst idea in the world either. 
So let's try that one first because we just did a lot of work on that. So let's go to three lanes, which is right here. I'll bring that a little bit farther down the line here. All right, so let's go back to the node controller. Let's do this. And I want this one to line up with this one. There we go. So that way we have a nice slip lane. We'll go into the detailing tool really quickly. Hold shift for a straight line and don't hold anything for a dashed line. Just like that. We can also use node controller in this, in this instance to pull that farther. So we have a larger kind of merging point. And then same thing right here. So I want this one to line up with this one. And then we'll go like this. Um, so that's a little bit of a kind of a curve in here, but I don't think that's the worst thing in the world What we could do is grab these two and just try and bring them out a little bit farther So that we have a bit more of a smoother connection through here Yeah, that's okay um, We could also try and do some work with the node controller on this node and line up this one and this one and we kind of curve into the node a little bit but then if we do the same thing over here hold shift looks like it's having some difficulty so i think we can just leave it at that and uh yeah there we go so hopefully we see some improvements with the traffic through here i think like i said there's uh, a bit more work to do with this area for example here we don't really need the crosswalks so sorry that's a node controller we can do that. So here we go, node controller. And we'll just make this like that. And then we'll hop back into the detailing tool here. Hold shift, whoops, click, hold shift. And hold shift. Here we go. So that means all pedestrian traffic is gonna run through here or underneath. So that is uh, all okay with me for now uh, because this is technically walkable underneath here. But yeah, hopefully that changes some things up a little bit. Looks like traffic is still flowing pretty good. We'll come back and we'll look at this, but I think this is um, lining up pretty good here. It looks like there's some funkiness happening with this. And now all the cars are starting to line up a little bit better. Let's watch this for a few quick moments as we see traffic kind of use this area. And oh, they're merging a bit early. Let's see if we can fix that so that's right here oops wrong one here we go fantastic and then it's always a good point just to do it this way too oh whoa 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 no right here i have it in the wrong direction i think that works actually no that doesn't work either okay well we'll just we'll just leave that for some nonsense but uh theoretically you can grab this tool and then this guy merges into here and this one just goes straight so these two merge together and then same thing on this side this one will go here and then this one will also go here and uh yeah okay so i think this is working pretty good episode's about half done and uh yeah i think it i think it's flowing pretty nicely thank you for that suggestion jam jmwz uh, oh, uh, one last thing. Sorry, I just uh, it's under the bridge, so I kind of forgot about it. We'll change up this node to be a middle node with node controller. And that way, things look a little bit nicer. We can also try and clean some things up with this brush. Which, oops. 
No, I was actually trying to remove concrete for the first time. <laughs> but then add concrete right through here. Looks like a building got lost, probably from some of our maneuvering around. So let's see if we can fix that. So that was right there. And the building will, will pop back up uh, down the line. And we need to turn zoning off of here, but I don't think that's 100% necessary uh, for today's video anyways. But same thing with that one. All right, so yeah, that's flowing pretty nicely. Now, theoretically, traffic uh, can flow a little bit nicer off of this intersection. Sure, it's gonna take a little while for things to kind of catch up, but you know, traffic coming into the downtown core, traffic leaving the downtown core is running off of the roundabout on this side and from the main intersections of the city. So I think it's working pretty nicely. So I just, you know, I like watching this. It's always good to kind of see things through a little bit as well. And yeah, okay, going pretty good. Going pretty good indeed. Well, now let's kind of take a, let's, let's stop the, the traffic and road fixes and we'll take a quick peek at a provincial highway. So, you know, there's uh, there's only one highway on this map that leaves, enters the, the map and leaves the map and that's this one. It goes north, south on our map, runs right through here and comes all the way right out to the end. You know, that was the challenge with the series. So we had to build this massive interchange right through here to kind of accommodate traffic flowing into our downtown core, which flows pretty nicely. It's a combination system and system and service interchange. Um, yeah, you know, flows pretty good. But I think there's cool opportunities to get some other outside connections in place. And I'm planning on doing two. Uh, one for sure, one I'm, one I'm still tentative about. So that is on the south side of the map. We're going to get an interchange right here, which I have labeled as the oil industry interchange. So that's going to be kind of doubling up as the oil industry interchange as well as the uh, provincial highway interchange. And we're going to have another one, the major airport interchange, which will kind of tie in with Winslow and Walsenburg as well. And kind of be the main thoroughway uh, into Ordway over here, which goes right into the downtown. And then this one's going to kind of, you know, just lead right from the outside of the map to this highway and across on both sides. It's going to be really helpful for traffic. And then I'm also planning another one in the north side of the map, but I'm not set on my locations yet, so we're not going to do that one uh, today. And sorry about that strange cut there, but had to deal with an issue. And um, I feel like cutting at that previous spot was a better spot than where I actually had to end the video. So um, what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be building a park flow interchange. A park flow interchange is basically just a half clover, or you know, it could even be a quarter of a, of a full clover leaf interchange. Um, clover leaf and park flow interchanges are extremely common in Alberta, mainly because of all the um, the land that the, that's available and uh, you know, buildable land as well. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. In, in the second half of today's episode, I'm going to actually do a bit of a speed through uh, for this build. Uh, but basically, the idea here is since I've already taken off the part of the highway, I'm going to pause the game. Uh, basically, the idea is we're going to have the highway running through. We're going to have another highway coming through this way where we'll start looking at the direction of the highway uh, after we build the interchange right here. Uh, but the idea of a park flow interchange is that we have this traffic coming uh, in this direction to start off with. We're going to then take it and we're going to loop it around so the traffic never stops and it's going to go this way. And then we'll also have a slip lane from, the, from about this point and we're going to slide it off this way so there's no stopping and it goes right off into that direction. Same thing from the other side. We'll have it loop around and go that way and we'll slip it off into that direction. Uh, now, I'm going to try and keep the terrain as natural as I possibly can, so we'll have to, you know, play around with some uh, some things with that. But um, when we're coming from this direction and in that direction with uh, the, this highway, uh, what's going to happen is we are not going to have a clover leaf. What's going to happen instead is we're going to have it come to a dead stop and then take a left and we'll have a slip lane go that way. And same thing here. We'll have it come this way and... We'll have it come to a dead stop, then go this way, but we'll have a slip lane for that direction. So that is the plan, and we'll see how it works out. So bear with me for a few minutes while we do a bit of a fun little speed build.
All right, so hopefully uh, that went well with the speed through. But uh, yeah, here's a little change up on a style of Parklow Interchange. I've kind of um, made it a bit more uh, like oval shaped, I guess, than some clover fields are kind of uh, used to. But I think it looks up pretty cool and I think it works out pretty great. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty unique. I, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some details and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and check out the lane mass and all the nodes with you all and then we'll look at the actual outside connection provincial highway so let's go through this pretty quick all right so starting down down here uh so we're coming on to this area and what is occurring well we're gonna, we're gonna use no controller here and i want to line up uh this node or this part of the node with this part of the node so that we have a nice slip lane kind of aspect to it we're gonna pull this side down We'll then hop into intersection marking tool, click it. We'll click uh, the outside line, hold shift, so we get a solid line. Don't hold shift and you get a dashed line. And pretty much what we're doing here is creating the semblance of a kind of slip lane off into here and sticking with the same side of the road. We'll just do that. So we, want to we want those ones to line up. And a quick way to do it is just to click square the node, but I like doing it manually. And then we'll go back into the intersection marking tool, click hold shift, don't hold shift. You get the dashed ones. Oh, it looks like this one didn't really show up. So it's there, but it's just not showing up. Interesting. And then we'll hold it for a solid line here, solid line, solid line, and solid line. And then we'll hold alt. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding in some filling detail. Oh, just like that. We can change it up, be a bit more specific if you like, but that's going to be good for uh, today. So then, yeah, you can slip off onto here and then you can access either this direction or this direction, which is great. Uh, or you can come off on this side, go around here. I think I'll clean things up a little bit more off camera. And we slide right up into here. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the sloping uh, while I was off camera or uh, not talking. So we'll slope that right to here. We had a very gradual slope. It looks pretty good. Except for uh, it's getting a bit close right here. So I'm just gonna need to touch this up. And same thing right over here. I think we'll just need to bring these a little bit farther along. And there are a lot of nodes in this, um, uh, on this junction here, but it's all good. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just clean things up off camera uh, just to make sure that every single little thing is a okay with me. And let's just make sure that we're at the same height right here. So that'll help remove some of the glitchiness. And I guess in a way, we'll go back to the network multi tool. And we'll do the same thing. We'll slope from here to here. And that should really help eliminate some things, but it doesn't. Okay. So we'll just have to readjust the height there and we'll try to play with the terrain a little bit. So in that case, what we'll do is we'll slope from that node that we adjusted to there and then again from that same node to here and that should re-level some things so let's just make sure we got all of those done because i did not do them off camera or uh i only did them in the speed through and same thing on this one i guess so we'll go from here all the way to here it's pretty good it's pretty good so yeah, I added in the barriers where the roads kind of meet up. Now, um, there is a couple junctions that I was looking at that had some pretty cool uh, designs that kind of facilitate this kind of uh, mixing of uh, inter interchange. And we'll get to that uh, momentarily after we kind of go through uh, with the node controller. Now, I'm not going to do all of them on camera just to save some time, but I think we all get the gist. So we can just square the node off and we get a nice clean... Uh, a clean uh, exit point right here and then same thing if we're doing it on this side here we can just easily square it up we get a nice clean junction you can bring it forward if you like same thing here now obviously we have some glitching right here and the squaring should help with that that's very good and again with the intersection marking tool we can really make it look very fresh as in as if there is zero issues uh, now, there are uh, ways that you can uh, get presets on this mode, so you don't need to do this on every single intersection. Now, I don't know if I have any presets. 
Uh, I do, but um, I think we'll just kind of leave it at that. So yeah, there we go. But what was that little trick that I was telling you about that you can add in? Well, technically, this works fine. This works as a great parkland interchange. If you're coming from this direction, you want to go straight. You stay on the highway. You want to get off on the right-hand side. You can just do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, or if you want to go on the left-hand side, you take the curve so that you take a right on this road. Helps slow down traffic. Now, there were some examples that I was seeing where there were two options. Now, I believe it's because of trucks and sometimes the trucks can make this curve. Uh, and in which case there is an access point here, which can then connect up right in here. So we then we have off of this one alone, we have a right and a left, but then we have an extra left as well. So uh, we can do something like that uh, with some restrictions like that. We could say only trucks can use this one and then only cars can use that one, for example. But I think I'll save that to see if there is like too much of an issue right here or something like that. Uh, but um, but uh, but yeah, so we're gonna use a four-lane road all the way through here uh, Mainly because there's a lot of jumping around and I want to keep the size of road uh, here. So technically for example let's Just grab this road Just for an example technically um, Maybe we could do like an asymmetrical kind of road or even three lanes on both sides We can have a slip lane off right here for example uh, but then, you know, if this was two lanes, we have one going off, then this is one, but we need two on this side. So things get a little complicated. So I just personally recommend with parkour interchanges that usually a four lane road is enough. Uh, but depending on your mode, you might want to, you know, just change things up ever so slightly. Now, what we can also do on this, uh, on this is to just bring this node forward. And what we get in turn is a easier slip lane but you want to make sure that there's enough space so if a car is parked right here they can see down the road here and they're looking over their left shoulder so that uh make sure that a car isn't coming so that's what we're going to do on both sides here just grab it shift it over just so there's enough of an angle here it doesn't need to be that much of a change with the design either but you know i think we can do some whoa just some uh, some minor adjustments. That's all that's really necessary. And there we go. It's pretty smooth. Now that is elevated. I'm actually going to change it back to ground level because I want to make sure that um, there's not that raised up level there. So here we go. And then in turn, I think, oops. I think in turn, uh, what we're ha what we're going to have to do then is then put this one to ground level as well. Now, I think we'll put the other side back to elevated because it just helps with some of the symmetry of the matter. But uh, in this case, we only need one lane here. On this side, we might end up putting two, two lanes on that side, but we'll see how things look. Now, the next thing I wanna do is check the heights of everything. So yeah, I think technically a car can fit under here, but something that a lot of bridges have is just in the middle node alone, is just slightly more raised up than uh, everywhere else. But since we have multiple lanes coming through, I'm just gonna readjust the height through here. And we'll, we'll do that with the network multi-tool now that we have the height that we want. I'm gonna slope it down to here. And that'll just ever so slightly raise up the other node. In this case, it lowered it. Um, so I think we're probably good here. What I might do is actually add in a second node on this side right there because it seems like we're a bit low on this end no I think we're actually pretty symmetrical okay so never mind let's take that out uh, okay fantastic so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a provincial highway now I was looking at some provincial highways trying to debate which one we're gonna go with and uh, we're gonna stick with the national road oh no Wait, yeah, that is it. Okay. Yeah, the national road, because I have a couple country roads. So that's the two-way highway. And then two-lane country road as well. Okay, so let's go with the highway. It's a bit more of a maintained road, we'll say. And this one is easy. I know this side, we're going to do it pretty fast. Uh, this one is just going to kind of shoot off in this direction. And we're just going to try and follow the path of least resistance 
through this terrain. We're going to try to get as close to this side of the map as possible, but we're going to exit over here somewhere. So it's a long way to go, but let's get kind of going on that. And uh, while we're doing this, we can kind of chat. So um, I am taking next week off. I don't usually take too many weeks off of this, uh, but uh, I have some family in town and won't be able to uh, record. Okay, so yeah, so there we go. We can easily add in a slip lane right here on the end. Come on. Like that. Um, or we can even leave it as is and then run a actual, like an actual slip lane. And I actually think I like that one better. So we'll do that uh, when we come back. Um, yeah, so I have some family in town, so we won't be able to uh, record. Uh, so all of next week, I won't be able to do uh, any episodes. So there won't be any episodes. Uh, there may be a GeoGuessr on the Wednesday. Not committing to it. Not 100% sure. So just uh, look out for that. Although when we come back on the following uh, week, uh, it is my turn with the Skyline 6. So uh, watch out for that. So, you know, we'll go three days with the, or three episodes, one full week. So Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday episode without, um, ooh, that's a bit steeper than I was anticipating, uh, without any episodes. And then we'll come back and we'll have a Sunday episode, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll have a, uh, a normal week. Right. So, you know, there's a couple things we can do with Traffic Manager as well. That is to go into TMPE here, do this, we'll go like this, we'll say no right hand turns, you had your chance, you had your chance, and we'll also say, um, yeah, we'll leave this as is, but it is technically only a right, um, but just like we did before, you can add in that kind of directionality Kind of help with the slip lane aspect to it and in which case we probably should have uh, done this in the first place right but i think uh, i think this kind of adds a little bit of flair to it so it's all good just a bit of a junction here that we need to fix so we'll go into node controller here we go square it all up i'm actually going to pull this way back we're going to bring this one forward uh, i think that should give us enough space we'll bring this one over and this guy we're going to open up on this side returns and there we go that should be uh, a okay i don't suspect that we're going to get many walking or much walking traffic through here so that's something to think about and in this regard we only have left hand turns here we don't need um oh, i don't know which one this is going to be yield on i think that worked out yeah we don't need uh, a light here there we go that's all good dedicated turning lane and you see so we should really technically go down to one lane here but then we're really shrinking the size of the road and i don't really want that and then you know we're going over here 
technically we should be having three lanes which is okay we could run three lanes all the way so why don't we why don't we do that we'll do that one that's okay And I guess technically we should be having six lanes through here, then we can lose it. Or, uh, you know, we could go down to a one kind of lane system here. Or a three and a one, I guess, is uh, would be the, the right method. So I guess in the way we are doing the lane math through here. And that should have been ground level. And node controller, square it. Here we go. So I'll take off the crosswalk off camera. I, I just think that's a little much. Then we'll have one going that way. And then we'll do the same exact same thing we did on the other side. Uh, so how are we going to connect it up though? That is the big question. If you look at the terrain, it's pretty gnarly. Um, pretty steep right here. And then it goes right into a pretty big mountain. Uh, I was hoping that we could go this way. Don't think we're going to go that way. So I think we're going to go this way. And we have a couple options. We could get a ground level crossing which would be interesting. I think we might get a ground level crossing here. And let's find a nice level spot with the road, with the, uh, with the uh, train. Just about right here. Oh, I'm actually need to go at slightly more. Seven units, there we go. And then what we'll do is a nice big curve and same thing again to about right here and we'll curve kind of to about here and we'll curve right in we'll use a better tool to kind of curve just like that there we go and again we'll have a slip lane running from right here Um, okay, and now let's connect up this road with the wider world and then we will call it a day Folks, this is a, this is a pretty big episode. Uh, I hope you liked all the editing in the episode uh, And I'm calling that before I've actually done the editing because I'm realizing how long this episode is including the um, the main kind of Overlooking build while we did that. It's pretty cool from uh, looking at it from this direction And you know having this access here with the oil industry is gonna be really neat uh, having a level crossing here is also pretty interesting. I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. I don't think it's going to go well, but I think it'll give us an opportunity to make a video about uh, rail and the rail crossings. Uh, so let's go into here. Let's kind of plan out its route. Now, some of you are going to say, Stephen, you need to connect this up. I am not going to connect it up. We're going to have a connection, but this road is going to go into here where I actually think we're gonna to need to shift defy this whole park down. So let's go into districts here, park. Oh, good thing I didn't remove that. It's actually gonna be over here. I'm just looking at the terrain. Um, yeah, so it'll be right in here and then we'll have the main road into the airport running this way or we'll have our main airport out in this direction. I'm sure we could have a secondary uh, access point from over here and then we'll have the zoo kind of compressed in this area i actually think we're gonna push the zoo over here rather than in this direction um there's the airport in the future uh but yeah so we'll have a connection but not the major connection it's not gonna join up and become one road 
Uh, so let's go back into here. And here we go. Pretty simple little first turn. And we're going to go in this direction. There we go. So again, do the same thing we did off camera last time. Um, yeah, looks good to me. I'll also come back and we'll re-level everything, but we're gonna end the video here. Uh, oh, never mind. I forgot we need to get this connection in place. And that'll be that connection between the two, because this one's gonna go in this direction, where we'll connect up one day to the airport at large. So yeah, there we go, folks. Quite the big episode today. Uh, let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section down below and let's get some cars back in here Where are all those cars at? Ah, it's okay. They'll come back. Yeah, there they are So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode folks. We'll talk soon on Wednesday Peace out